this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech with a bit of a serious topic today. I'm talking about theft in the Magic community and a major theft that happened out at GP New York. For those of you who've been following the channel for a while, um, I myself was hit a few months back at PAX. Um, as I've talked to other people there, I actually believe it was a team of individuals that were working together where one of them intentionally tried to distract someone and then the other grabbed cards and walked away. It sounds like a few people were actually hit out at PAX. I ended up finding out on Facebook a few weeks back that a friend of mine who I've done a significant number of large trades for vintage cards, some of those are over on my Instagram, has been hit by a team of individuals out at GP New York. Basically, there was a group of people who were watching and scouting for an opportunity to walk off with his backpack. Uh, he is an extremely nice guy. I know a lot of people who have went through Sean as their pathway into playing vintage, and he had a huge number of cards stolen from his backpack at GP New York. Here is the list of a few of the cards that were in that backpack at the time that it was stolen. Let's look at this list a little bit closer. A Beta Ancestral, five Unlimited Ancestrals, an Alpha Time Walk, five Beta Time Walks, two Beta Mana Vaults, an Unlimited Time Walk, an Unlimited Time Walk signed, two Beta Mox Emeralds, one Unlimited Mox Emerald, two Beta Mox Jets, an unlimited mox jet, and an unlimited mox jet signed. Two beta mox pearls, two unlimited mox pearls, one beta mox ruby, one unlimited mox ruby, one beta mox sapphire, and three unlimited mox sapphires. Tabernacle, library, three josoms, three alpha birds of paradise, Japanese foil fetches. Japanese foil modern masters goifs future sight Japanese foil tarmogoyfs onslaught foil Japanese fetchlands world wake foil jaces Innistrad foil Liliana's two foil Warwin thought seizes just going through this list hurts me to even think about. This is basically an individual who's been working with several people to put together a store for the Portland area, and this is a significant portion of their startup inventory that was stolen at GP New York. This is a post from about a week before that happened where he was selling and trading some of these cards in a group that I'm part of, Magic the Seattling. I don't know exactly which of these cards were the cards, but I'm pretty sure that the Beta Sapphire there is the Sapphire that was described. Uh, Sean has mentioned, and his contact information is later on in this video, that if you end up seeing people selling cards that are on this list, especially a quantity of them, please reach out to him. He has pictures and is offering a significant cash reward for help reclaiming these cards. It hurts to see this going on in the Magic community, and it's becoming more and more common. Fortunately, we do have some surveillance footage of individuals that the police are looking for. They believe to be suspects in this case. In fact, one of them is seen walking out with Sean's backpack, and we got a really decent shot of him here as he is leaving the GP with the backpack just moments after that other security footage was shot. I hope that we, the internet, can work together to find these cards and return them. I mean, th this is the type of thing where you're taking the entire startup capital of a small business and just removing it from the market. Sean has been very kind to me. I've worked with him on several deals. I hate to see this happen to anyone, more or less somebody that I know personally. I mean, as I'm doing this video, I'm shaking a little bit. You can probably hear it in my voice. I hate to see this happening again and again in the community. I do have a little bit of hope. 
I know that there was a large collection that was stolen in Texas uh, a few months back. And because of a tip that came in through the internet, most of that collection for that entire game store was recovered by the police very, very recently. As you are attending events, I recommend checking out episode 245 that I did that has some tips for avoiding having your card stolen. There are clearly individuals who are now targeting GPs and big events, going after individuals' collections. And I don't want to see you end up being the victim of a scam like this or targeted. Our cards have a lot of value to them, both sentimental and actual cash value to them. And anything that you can do to try to protect yourself and watch out for other individuals in the community, I strongly recommend. Thank you guys. This has been Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech. I've got patron pack openings coming up tomorrow uh, for this month. If you would like to join the channel, please do. I will be opening Shadows of Innistrad packs for patrons and I'll be sending out some emails about that tomorrow. Thank you guys so much and hopefully we're able to, to catch this guy. Until next time, choose the cards. Wisely.